In the following video, we are going to work through the process and how to gather the logs for the UAG appliance. Now, firstly, I need to access my UAG appliance. So I open up my browser and in the URL bar, I enter the credentials for my UAG appliance. Now here I'm using the IP address. You can do the same or you may have an FQDN that you prefer to use. I'm then going to log in with my admin credentials. And I have a couple of options here. Now the first one that we're gonna look at is how to gather the logs through the configuration process. So I select configuration process. I bring the taskbar down to the bottom and I can see here where I have the log archive option. I select the download button and I proceed to save the log files. I look at my downloads folder and I can see that this has been completed and I can see that the files are here. So this is the first option on how to gather, gather the logs, but there is a second option. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to proceed to open up another taskbar, but I'm going to take a portion of the URL that already exists. So I'm going to just take the IP address with the port number. I'm going to enter that here and I'm then going to proceed to enter a additional um, information in the URL taskbar that's going to allow me to gather logs from another resource. So by entering the, the text rest slash v1 slash monitor slash support hyphen archive and selecting enter, I then get prompted for my credentials once more. Once I enter my credentials, I can now get prompted again with the same message as to whether to open or save the UAG log archive. I select save. And if I come to my downloads folder again, I can now see that I have two files effectively downloaded. They're the exact same file as I haven't carried out any actions in between each task, but it's just two options available to you for gathering the UAG logs if and when required. That completes the demo. Thank you.